Hi guys! How's it going? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for checking me out. Um, my name is Lauren Roy on YouTube. Just changed it recently. I still go by Lauren Roy Nassi over on Instagram if you know me from there. So today, as you can tell by the title, you're not going to see me recreate this entire look, but I will be doing a try-on, wear test, and review of the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. So this is the new launch from Fenty Beauty, and I actually wasn't planning on filming a video today, like I started this really late in the day. So my wear test is going to go into the dark night time, and I'm going to have to figure out how to light this video for that. Let's get into it. Alright, so what I'm going to start by doing is prepping my face, and what I've been using for quite a while is the Pacifica Pineapple Flower Oil-Free Matte Mist, I think that's what it's called? Yeah. It smells nice, it's pretty summery and fruity. And I think that it's been helping my makeup. It feels pretty tacky. So, I think it's been helping me. I've been enjoying it. Um, I sometimes use it as a setting spray. I wouldn't say that it elongates the wear of my makeup, but honestly, I actually don't know why I'm still using it. I feel like I'm still pretty oily. And next, I'm gonna prep my skin by using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I've been loving this. I think it's moisturizing and I think it really does create a very sticky base for my foundation. And I think it looks very nice. I already have my eyes done because I did use some ColourPop Super Shock shadows because I wanted to be a little sparkly today. I wonder if you can even hear that. And you can't hear audio in slow motion. It's easy for me to hear. I don't have a mic set up, I just use the audio off my camera because my camera doesn't have an audio jack. That's why you always hear shit like dogs and people and people using power tools and things. Sorry, this headband's always popping off because my head is so round that like shit doesn't stay on my head. It's like trying to put a headband on a ball. It doesn't really work. So what I'm going to do is as you can tell from the intro and the title of the video, I'm trying out the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Pro Filter Foundation. And um, so what I'm going to do is one half of my face with the brush and one half with the sponge. So I think I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and start by doing the brush side. I think that's a good idea. I'm putting two pumps in the back of my hand. I'm going to take... I have a couple of different brushes I like for foundation. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. one. It's called the Selfie Ready Stippled Brush. Stippled brush, I don't know why I said stippled. But um, I've really been liking e.l.f. brushes. So I think I'm going to keep up with that. I like e.l.f. It's cruelty free. It's super inexpensive. They make good products. Their packaging is usually really easily recyclable. And I haven't found any of their stuff to be like lower quality just because it's a lower price. I've really, I've been loving e.l.f. And you can tell this doesn't really leave those kind of nasty brush lines. I really do just like stipple it on though. I actually, I used to use stippled brushes a lot. And then I started using kabuki brushes because they were super, super popular. And it is true, they're dense, they push out the product well, they also soak up a bit of product. You can tell that this already soaked up a lot of product. But I just, I really like stippling brushes. I think they do a really good job of dispersing product. So let's go into the sponge side. I'm using a damp Real Technique sponge. And usually, you should, I usually just dot the foundation onto my face. And I have warmed it up on the back of my hand. I'm just going to pick up the excess that's on the back of my hand and go in. Pretty immediately I see that the coverage on the brush side is a little bit more with the same amount of foundation. But I think I like the sponge application a little better. Actually, they're really similar. I'm just, I'm kind of a sponge girl. I do like sponges. I use brushes occasionally. I really want to see if we can amp up the coverage of this. 
I think I'll I'll keep going. I'll do a brush on this side, sponge on this side, and see what the coverage is like on both at the end. So I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand, go in with the brush, really get all that product into the brush, and just go onto my face. What I'm worried about is that since this foundation has had a moment to dry down, that brush strokes are gonna appear in the base layer of foundation. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Right now it's looking pretty good. It's definitely buildable. I see a lot more coverage in that area of my face. All right, I think that actually looks really good. I don't think that the, the brush really disturbed the base foundation at all. A little bit on my nose. I might just use the sponge over my nose completely just because um, it looks better that way. All right, I definitely should have used less than one pump. I did not need a whole another pump on this side of my face. But we're just doing our thing. I guess I'll have, I guess I'll have a lot of extra, maybe I will bring it down my neck. Cause I feel like there's gonna be a lot of extra foundation on this sponge. Today will just be a really, really, really makeup-y day. That's okay with me. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And I don't know what it looks like on the camera. The base right now is definitely a little bit a different tone from the rest of my body. I'm just gonna cover up this mosquito bite. It's really bugging me. I've got a lot of makeup on my face. I'm actually not gonna do concealer because I've already got too much makeup on. I'm just gonna pack this into my dark circles. And it actually covered my dark circles pretty well. I have pretty dark under eyes and in the corner of my eyes. It doesn't bug me too much. It's something that happens naturally. I try not to fight it a lot. I do put um, a couple of different eye creams on. Sometimes I use one that has caffeine in it and I've been liking that. I just forgot to do it today, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to try to put on the new cream blush that I've been using from Glossier, which is one of their cloud paints. It's in the color Beam. So I want to see how this foundation meshes with other liquid products. Sometimes I tone it down if I use too much. I just go over my blush again with my Beauty Blender. It's actually kind of cute. No, it's too much. Too much. No, it's a little too much. I'm also going to be using the TARDIS Pro Glow palette to do my contour. And another e.l.f. brush. I think this is called like the airbrush. Airbrush. Airbrush brush? What was I trying to say? I don't remember. But I just tap this brush into the cream contour and the TARDIS Pro palette. Looks like I got quite a bit on here. And I just go around here. And I'm not going to bake my under eye, but I'm going to bake um, my jawline because I want to see how this foundation does with a bake and just with a set of powder, just, you know, sweeping powder over the area rather than letting it sit. I want to see both. So this looks nice. None of my foundation is lifting at the base. And I have this problem with my contour all the time. I think it's just my skin. It just, it gets these little bald patches. It could be from the way that I apply products or how products react with my skin, but it literally always happens. I don't know what the deal is, but it's just what goes on with my face. And I kind of want to do cream contour on my nose just to see how this foundation reacts to it because my nose is the worst part of my face for wearing foundation. I think a lot of people can relate to that. I think a lot of people have problems with their nose being too oily, their skin being too slick for some reason. That's the problem with mine. I don't know what it is about my nose, but it just sucks to put makeup on sometimes. So I think I'm going to do cream contour on my nose and see how the foundation and contour wear with it. It looks really nice on my nose right now, the foundation. On the brush side, it actually, they both look pretty much similar. It sinks into my pores a little bit on the foundation, on the foundation on my nose. It's doing that thing where it kind of emphasizes your pores a little bit, but that happens so often with so many foundations on my nose. I could use a pore filling primer, but silicone primers seem to really, or dimethicone primers, anything that kind of fills your pores, it really makes my nose just too slippy. 
and then foundation just comes right off. So I need a more gripping primer and usually that's something, you know, more sticky. It's got a little bit more gel consistency consistency to it. So I'm just using a Sony Kashuk brush. I'm going to lightly contour the sides of my nose. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, I made a big mistake. This actually looks pretty nice. I really tried not to put too much contour on because I didn't want it to lift up at the foundation. As I said, my nose sucks. Okay, so that's not too bad. My nose actually looks kind of cute and like contoured. I'm still gonna put powder contour on because even though a lot of people are steering away from contour, I still love it. I still think it's very fun. I don't do a super heavy contour or a super ashy contour. I still keep it kind of warm. So let's just make sure that this is all good. And I'm using the Fenty setting powder. I use the shade Butter. Let me just make sure of that. Butter Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch. Yeah, I got the mini one because I was trying it out. Honestly, the mini one has so much product in it. The foundation is definitely looking a little heavy around my mouth, but that is seriously my own fault because I put on a shitload of makeup. I put on four pumps of foundation on my whole face. Like, no one needs that. Especially, this is a pretty, like, this is a medium full to full coverage, and it's buildable, in my opinion. I don't actually know what the stats are. I am going to set my under eyes. One thing about this Fenty powder is that it does hold a lot of pigment, so I think that's why it's not great to bake with under the eye. I think it holds too much and it will make your eyes look crazy bright underneath. If you really need brightness, that's good, but also it'll be such a stark difference that someone's really going to notice. That's why I don't mind it so much in my jaw, especially because I buff it out with a brush that has bronzer on it already. But it is really good to bake with if you're doing a contour. You'll get a really, really clean jawline. So that is a plus. You'll also look like you have a beard. Very fun, different. Get to see yourself in a different light, in a more bearded light. I've really been loving doing my highlight before everything. I think it just makes your highlight look really blended into your face. What am I doing? I don't use my finger for that part. I only use my finger for the nose. Because I think it just keeps the highlight super concentrated to where it should be on your nose. And then I blend it out with the brush after I do my highlight everywhere else on my face. So I go over the tip of my nose like this a couple of times, sweep it around, make sure it looks blended, go up the bridge of my nose. Do a little bit of this action just to get any of the residual highlight left. And just highlight my forehead. Alright, now we will go into our bronzer and I will be using a Fenty Beauty bronzer. I am using the Sun Stalker in the color Indus Sun. I love this color, it's definitely a little cooler. What's the other one? I'm gonna put it. Um, in the video, the other one I'm thinking of, the other shade that's in the lighter range still, like it's definitely good for people with lighter complexions like mine, that's a little warmer if you like a very warm bronzer. Okay, looks a little crazy, but that's because of me. I think that I would absolutely not bake this foundation don't think I like it. But honestly, I hate baking, so I don't know why I really did it. Mm. Just kind of stupid, I guess, sometimes. Alright, I'm liking where this is going. I think that I'm going to want to fix my headband. 
And then I'm going to finish up my face, do my eyebrows, the rest of my eyes, setting spray, stuff like that. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the foundation. And then at the end, I'm gonna follow it up with some wear time, wear test times. Probably gonna be wearing pajamas for the rest of the day because I have to study for my CPC exam. And my hair will probably be up, but you will get to see the real me. All right, so I'll be right back with my makeup all done. All right, so I just finished my full face of makeup. I decided not to wear eyelashes because I really like my eye look today and I really want it to pop. And I don't have any lashes that would really work, like no half lashes or something more open. But I think that my makeup looks super nice right now. My face makeup. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make sure I'm still in frame, yeah. So I think that my makeup is looking really nice. It's definitely still a little bit weird on my nose. So let me zoom in a little bit on my nose. Yeah, so there's just a little bit of gathering in my nose pores, but it's really, really, it's not that bad. Like I have a lot of foundations and a lot of them do this. So I think that it looks good. Yeah, it's really, it's honestly probably better than most of the foundations that I've tried out of late. I think it, I look really nice and I think the color match is really nice. I actually think I did a pretty good job with it. It might not look great on camera, but it really does look good in person. It's a little bit pinker than my body, but my face is always pinker than my body anyway. So the slightly pink undertones, cause this is one of the neutral ones. I have shade 150. Let me go on four real quick. So what I usually use actually that um, I've been using in the Fenty Pro Filter Matte Foundation, I was using 120. And the fact that I went into the store and I tried out 150 and I put it up against my neck and blended it out, I usually color match on my neck and chest because that's the part of your body that is going to want to match. The shade 150, is this one, no, this one, no, this one. Okay, so shade 150 is um, considered for light skin with neutral undertones. So what I'm probably gonna do is keep the 150 hydrating and I think I'm gonna mix it with the 120 matte and I actually, um, the bottle broke. So this is Fenty Beauty Foundation, the matte one. It's just in a little travel bottle because my Fenty Beauty pump broke and it spilled all over my makeup drawer, but there was still a lot left in the bottle. So um, I saved what I could because it's a more expensive foundation. It's a foundation that I invest in because I like the formula of it, but the matte foundation started just becoming too matte on my skin. I started using it back in college and I think that since then my skin has dried out a little bit. So it started looking a little patchy on me. Especially in the winter, everyone's skin gets drier in the winter, basically no matter what your skin type is like. Everyone does get a little drier, it's cooler out, less humidity in the air, stuff like that. So right now, I think my skin looks great. I think I look really nice. I really like the look of this foundation. I think it's basically a perfect match to my skin. Like, if you look at my scalp to the rest of my face, I will do a check-in probably in about three hours and then three hours after that and then maybe three hours after that. So I'm going to do a check-in in a little while. You guys are going to see it. And yeah, that's it. So see you in a little bit. Alright, so it is about 6.30 right now and I think that my makeup looks really good. Actually, I think that my face looks super natural. Like it looks like the makeup has melted into my skin kind of, you know, like I'm really not wearing a whole lot of makeup, even though I put four pumps of foundation on my face. So I'm just gonna zoom you in real quick and kind of look around my face. Like, I think everything's looking super natural. And I think it looks like a healthy glow, like a kind of glow from within, a little dewy. You know, this is a hydrating foundation. It's got grapeseed oil in it. So I know it's looking pretty nice. It's hydrating. So I feel really good about where the makeup is right now. I've definitely got shine in my oily spots, but I think it looks really good. It's not creasing. Like I move my mouth around a lot here. I'm going to zoom in and show my mouth. So like, you know, I talk a lot. I was eating some potatoes. That's why I don't really have lipstick on anymore, but like there's no evident creasing around my mouth in the smile lines. Like I think it looks really good. 
So yeah, I think that's all for now. Oh, gotta zoom out. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. I think I'm definitely gonna have to blot a little oil off then, and I'm definitely gonna have to light because the lighting right now isn't even that great. But you can still see my shiny face, so see you guys in a little bit. All right, I know this looks crazy bright, but I swear there is light behind me. It just doesn't appear so because my filming light is so bright. But um, it is about 9.40 something right now. This is gonna be my last check-in. I am just so tired today that I really do not wanna stay awake any longer and I really wanna take off my makeup. So I thought that I would check in and show you, I'm pretty sure you could see on the monitor, just how oily I am. I am very slick is the word I would use. Like I definitely have oil buildup. I think it's gone past like that natural dewy kind of glow. No shit. And gone into oily territory, but this could be exactly where someone wants to be. So I'm gonna zoom in on my face so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So there's obvious oil on my face, very much so. I'm very shiny in a couple of spots. I do have oily combo skin, I have some dry spots, but honestly it's really only in the winter, mostly in the other months I'm just oily. So I'm going to blot now. You can't really see it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but a lot of oil came off. You can definitely tell just by the difference of how oily my face once was and the spots that I've dabbed off. Oh my God, it like gets stuck to the oil. Oh my God, like nest. But once I dab off the oil, I honestly look so much better. Like my makeup is still in place. There's not a lot of movement. I think that I look really healthy and kind of awake, even though I'm like literally so tired right now. My eye makeup still looks pretty good too. But this is definitely like a foundation that is like oil city. Like when Rihanna said hydrating, she meant hydrating. Like your face is gonna be wet. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go wash my makeup off now, but overall, I really think I like this foundation. It's definitely gonna be a winter favorite for me. I know that for a fact it's gonna be a great mixing foundation. I'm going to try that, you know, give my opinions on it in other videos when I do other makeup reviews, other makeup looks. But, um, you know, if you just keep something to blot your face, and Fenty Beauty does have blotting papers, they have the blotting powder, and I think that in combination with those products and this foundation, you're gonna look so good because my skin so still looks so even. The coverage is great. It's definitely not like the full, full coverage. Like if you're a Nikki Tutorials kind of coverage girl, you're not gonna like it. Samantha Ravindal, it's too high coverage for her. She would absolutely mix it with, you know, she would cut it with some kind of serum or lotion, probably the Vichy. But um, I think this is right up my alley. It's still natural, it's skin-like, but there is coverage to it. Overall, I really like it, even though I have oily skin. I think it is a great option. I think if you're a lot oilier than me, which I don't really imagine most people are, I have pretty oily skin, but um, I still think you'll love it, and it's definitely gonna be a go-to for people with dry skin. It really is right. I don't know why my air conditioner is turning on, but that means it's time for me to check off. All right, guys, see you later. Thank you for checking out this video today, and thank you so much for supporting my channel, coming over here and checking it out. I just wanted to do a really quick um, thank you to the subscribers that I have. I know that I don't have a lot of subscribers, but those of you that have subscribed to me, I just wanted to say thank you so much because your support means the world to me. I never realized when I went into this how much work this takes, like creating a video, editing a video, putting out your content into the world and I just have such a high respect for people that do it. I actually, I really think it takes a high skill set, a really, you know, a person being able to be vulnerable out online like this. Um, I just, I really respect the hustle and 
you know, the time and work that goes into it because it's really a lot more than I ever expected. But I also know how much I really, really like it. I think this is something that I could love doing for a long time. And so I just wanted to say thank you again for your support. It really, really means the world to me. So yeah, that's everything. I like weirdly got emotional just now. Like, okay, I'm not crying, but my eyes got like wet. Ugh. But other than that, um, you know, I just wanted to say thank you. So thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Right? Bye.